Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Axon TD Uprising, a tower defense game that I'm very excited to be checking out an early demo for here today. It has a roguelike mode, up to four-player co-op, and a campaign, but I'm extra excited to check it out because it's from the creators of Element TD2, which is another tower defense game that I absolutely adored. It was very, very deep, and I expect that Axon TD Uprising is going to similarly be very deep. But let's pop on into the tutorial, I suppose, here, and learn what's up, because I know it has some unique, different things uh, about it, especially in regards to mazing. So, in this first mission, you will learn the concept of eliminating your enemies, constructing towers, and mazing with them. The goal behind the game is to prevent your enemies, yep, from getting to the end of the map by following the outlined path. You do so by having your tower shoot at enemies before they can get there. Uh, placing down towers requires credits. You can see at the top of your screen, you have 100, enough for two basic towers. Okay, so we've got Blaskin basic AoE. Congratulations on building your first tower. See what any of the towers do, simply hover over them at the bottom of your screen. So we've got an all-around basic single target unit. So yeah, right now we can actually, you see how the path is going up through there. It is a tower defense game with mazing, meaning if I put this down, I can actually block the path and readjust it. I guess that's what that's saying there. Trigger the first wave of enemies by clicking the flashing play button. Oh, it's so tiny. It's actually covered up by my microphone. Okay. Easy first wave. What? Imagine. They just tell you what to do, and then you just, just beef it immediately. After every wave, you receive various rewards. It looks like you've earned enough credits for another tower. Place down uh, another tower, and then start the next wave when you're ready. I will in one second. All right. Oh, it's given us, given us the ability to pick, actually, which one we want Oh, okay, okay, and it has different upgrade options. Gains damage bonus to consecutive attacks. When it kills an Axon, you gain power. Doesn't work on squadrons, I don't know what that means yet. Priority switch to weak. So it's like a, this is when it stacks up in difficulty, or uh, damage rather. When it kills an Axon, it attacks multiple times in quick succession. Cannot proc itself. Interesting. So I, I guess I can see that by right-clicking there. Typically... You, you know, we're probably going to want single target near the end. There's not going to be as many clumps one would imagine. So let's just... Insufficient resource. That's right. We only got one. Okay. So this right here is the clump they were talking about. So that's where we're really wanting the AOE. Gotcha. So I, I take it back. This is... I don't know if I've seen this in a tower defense game. I know it's, it's super straightforward, but like... The enemy is actually releasing in a full lump in one tile that actually greatly increases the uh, the benefit of area of effect stuff you catch it on pretty quick good job one wave left don't forget to spend your many credits yeah so like that actually does genuinely make me want to um put down an aoe tower under the assumption that yeah there's eight squadrons coming up do we have a fast forward i feel like yeah just for the tutorial here we can definitely go ahead and do that but yeah, okay. That That is a huge buff to area of effect towers. Squadrons existing like that. All right. End of wave rewards and extending your path. Now, this is a pretty major component of the game uh, that I had seen in a trailer. In this mission, you will learn about adding tiles to the map and using blockers. First, you have to beat the wave on your own. Good luck. Okay. We have squadron, we do. We have how much money? We have a hundred bucks. Like we can put something here and then uh, and then push it up there, but the, the issue is, yeah, okay. Does that that covers the whole full circle? Good. The blast cannon, I could put. I guess I. Why won't it let me put it there? Oh, you can't put it on these uh, on these tiles. I would assume, is is what it is. It won't let you put it here, and it won't let you put it there. Okay. So these are pretty much the two tiles I, I can put things on. It's where, where I'd want to anyways, but still. All right. Pick a reward to continue. Credits or place an additional tile on the grid. You've received two add tiles in the bottom right of your screen. These can be used on any empty space on the field to add a tile that you can build on or let the axons pass over. 
There's an inactive island up ahead. Inactive means it's not currently connected to, so you can't place towers on it. Connect to it with the add tiles. Okay, so we can get up there, but obviously, like, we can't lure them up here because they have nowhere to go. We'd have to block them in. Now you will want to lead the path through this new area by placing down towers that alter the path. Uh, every wave you get a cell charge in the bottom right of your screen, use it to relocate or replace towers. Gotcha. The fact that we can, okay, so we can actually relocate as well is pretty cool. Sell a tower or remove. See, I'm, do I get the money back? Like full money? All right, for science. For science. Okay, we get the full income back. That is pretty impressive. So, as far as this goes, I'm probably not, like, I can't build here, so I wouldn't be able to push them back into this. So, putting this here is not really going to give me any kind of benefit, so I might as well just push it in right there. And then for Blast Cannon, eh. We don't have good tiles for the AoEs at the moment, because I can't, it can't reach over the, uh, the curve, so to speak. Got 100 bucks yet. So I think maybe doing something like this so we can have a valuable AoE turret still sounds pretty good. But the fact that we're in the tutorial and there's already, like, pretty noticeable strategy is really exciting. Because the thing is, I didn't have to put those there. Block. Place a barricade on an existing tile on the ground. In addition to add tiles, you received a blocker. The, this object allows you to extend the path for free, but it does not hurt enemies. Make the path as long as you possibly can, but this next wave is going to be a bit tougher. Good luck. So, yeah. I, I don't really have much to do with that, but we, we do get a sell thing if I wanted to, you know, schmoove this. But I don't know if I... I don't know if I entirely want to. We'll do something like that... The thing is, if I if I put this here, I can't place a blocker there. I can't place a blocker there. If I put it here, they just they're just gonna run straight in. All right, so that connects it. That straight up does indeed connect it. We probably want to put like the blocker here, I guess, because it's not like a prime spot. Meaning we could put the pulse ray up here and like a I guess a blast cannon. The blast cannon doesn't seem actively bad at single target. I have 50 bucks, right? Yeah. Just look for the most coverage. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nine tiles of coverage versus uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a bit better. Go for it. But yeah, this is quite cool. So theoretically, we could maybe like extend it out even further this way. Or, you know, we could fill in these gaps. Like, I could I could fill in this gap and I could put in an AoE one there. Or I could fill in this gap and put in, you know, an AoE. Like, that's pretty cool too, right? Just thinking about how we can utilize those. Power, abilities, traps, destination tiles. Oh my goodness. Okay, you learn about power. I know we're going through a lot of the tutorials here, but the tutorial is also quite interesting as well. Uh, you also learn about the power of destination tiles. You now have access to the flame vent. It's a trap. Traps placed on the path, but do not force axons to go around them. Gotcha. All units take periodic damage while on it. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll put it, like, right in the beginning. This is some wild stuff already here. Okay. It's quite a bit of coverage. One, two, three tiles. Is there ever anywhere that I can go that's going to get more than three? The fun thing is... Well, they're probably... They're running in the range of this no matter what we do there anyways. But we could actually um, pop down a pulse ray here to force them to walk all the way back through it once more. So this seems, like, actually absurd. 
Yeah, okay. The flame trap seems kind of legit for this. I do want to get more AoE, so it's kind of like taking the place of my scatter shot. Power is used to activate overloads or upgrade towers. There's multiple ways to acquire power in Axon TD. You always have a passive gain of 5 per wave. It can also be acquired by activating generators from end of wave rewards or by triggering certain perks. You've been given 20 extra power, time to upgrade a tower. Gotta know. Okay, so that's been upgraded to this. So it's it's on a linear path, it seems like, maybe? Like, boom, boom, boom. Deals damage over time for short duration after they've passed through as well. Lingering damage for over four seconds. So it almost does the exact same amount of damage uh, again. So that's kind of nice. Uh, let's hit a little AoE in here, I suppose. That's a bit better. Let's do it. Let's set up absolute hell for them right away. Oh, there's no way. There's no way the squadrons are making it out of this section. Okay, but there's our single targets. Add two, get some credits. I think I actually would want some credits here. We only get five, so we can't upgrade again there, but I could just buy another Pulse Ray. I'm going to push it out of that one's range for a second, but this is just... It's a lot of tiles of damage, so it works for me, I think. Um, I don't really have more good spots to put anything, so I think that... Um, when that's the case, we might as well just drop down these flame spots. The fun thing about this... I mean, fun. <laughs> the thing about this, it's going to be super backseatable, but only because there's lots of different ways you can do anything. You clearly could build this map infinite different ways. With, with the tools they're giving you, pick a new destination on the grid for the path. Wait, what? you received a new destination tile. It allows you to set a different end point. Use it to increase your path length. You'll need an empty tile to place it down. So these are blockers. By expanding to this island, you've gained access to a generator. There are another way of generating power to activate is simply place down a tower next to it. Gives you initial bonus based off when it's activated, and you will keep generating power for every wave going forward. How, how much do we have? We have two two more? Oh, we have four more. Oh, my. Okay, so we've linked up there. We have two left. So we could have it go, like, all the way here. But the thing is... We go all the way up. We could link up this... And force them to go all the way here and all the way back to, like, this tile right here. You know what I'm saying? If we do things right. Or, okay, so let, let me let me visualize it. We go path, we path them up. We can even sell this and then, like, loop them up in here. We go whoop, up here. All the way up and around and end up like literally on this tile invalid node why oh it has to be on an empty oh that's fine that doesn't really matter I think we'll want it like that alright so let's let's process. So there's our free cell. We have a blocker. It's gonna take a long time to like to utilize what I just did, but um, that's pretty cool. That is really pretty cool. I definitely want to um, utilize this. 
We have 20 now. 55, okay. Blast Cannon doesn't have great radius. Should I maybe... Uh, I could extend this out, I suppose. There we go. Alright, so that's a much longer path, and we can eventually get it all the way here. And then we block this, and then we block right here, and we can force them to go literally do the whole thing. That's absurd. That is absurd. That's so cool. The amount of malleability is absolutely off the wall. <laughs> it's off the wall. Okay, and then, like, I don't even know what I want at this point. So... Hmm. I think I would just want money at this point. You can also spend power on overloads. This triggers a temporary effect on or around your towers for a smaller power cost. You have access to a hypercharge at the bottom right of your screen. Target it on any tower. It gets a temporary attack speed boost during a wave. Uh... Only, only usable during the wave. Okay, okay. So I think that um, this is a good spot for a blocker. That works fine. Do we need single target back here? Because I think that the thing is, or, or AOE back here, I think I can just fill up this with a bunch of flame vents and we won't really have to worry about it. Bonus damage with consecutive attacks. Priority switch to back. Sounds good. So I'll do that with my power. This is just barely in that radius already. We could just we could kind of jank it up a little bit by doing this though I don't know it's the final wave it doesn't actually matter but I'm just like that's the thing is I'm so invested in it anyways place an additional tile on the grid I don't know where I'd even want to at this point like I don't I don't want to put it in I don't want to fill in these gaps that obviously ruins the path We could do something like, uh, hmm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I, I don't think I'll actually need anything for right now, but it's it's very, very cool that I could. Let's, just, let's patch up these holes. Let's <laughs> just patch up the holes. Why not? Sell anything? I don't think we need to. We got to... Okay, we're all good. Send it. Big single target guy, but we did get the uh, the thing that buffs up damage when hitting the same target. Okay. Not bad. All right, final little, I mean, here we go. Rotators, Axon abilities, Aura Towers, Perks. Welcome to the last mission. Here you will learn about rotators, aura towers, perks, and axon abilities. There's a lot left to learn about axon TD. The codex is a great place to learn about specific mechanics, towers, and axons. The codex can be found in the menu. All right. The thing is, they do just they do just sort of let me play. So, uh, all right. So, what the hell is? What are these now? All around basic single target turret. Yep, we got the same stuff here. We, we don't we do have a blocker so what's the range on this look like it's it's all right like can you like put a um i wonder if you could put a tile on the wall i feel like probably not like having like some sort of limit there is is pretty good i'd imagine we'll take the we'll take the one two three four on that if we put this here, it only has three tiles worth of it, but this doesn't seem too much better. That we could get like another one, two, three, four, which for these seems relatively optimal, but let's make sure we get this single target. We have a blocker for what it's worth. 
I'm afraid to put it down because I think I'll want it later. Like, I could do this. I'll just do that for now. But I, I, I wonder if we can sell the barricades. Or if those are sort of like, once you pick them up, they're, they're just yours, dude. Give me back my AoE fire thing. You son of a gun. Okay. Pick an additional reward. Let's go ahead and grab... There's the, I mean, the power. There's so much stuff that's really appealing. I think I'll just get some more money. You've noticed that there are regions with blue outlines in the circle in the middle. It's called the rotator. These regions can be rotated by pressing the blue circle in the middle. This is a way to change how you use the map. It's important to plan ahead and figure out what's best for your maze as you rotate them. When you made your decision, you can add a tile next to it or build a tower on it to lock it in. Now you can use this area like any other. Oh my goodness. That is legit. That is that is actually legit. Okay, so we need to fix this pretty bad. Um Okay, so the thing is Can I sell this? Would I would I get my blocker back? That's basically the big issue that I have. Cause I kinda would it'd be cool to lure him back here, and the thing is like I could um just increase what I have. Uh but I think locking this in is pretty legit. Let's see. Could I get I'm I'm looking for two separate paths a way to get two separate paths out and two separate paths in. Uh right now I think just putting a tile here and like locking it. This way is fine. Because we could... Um, okay, let's see. We get them down here. We could even lure them back. Or we could go... Voop, 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 voop. You go in here, and then we could lure them back down this way. It's not bad. It's going to be It's gonna be a lot. I don't know if we have the pieces for it. I'm curious... Okay, I, I I think I had a blocker already though, so I don't think that did anything. But it also doesn't use your uh, your cell. Okay, man, let me let me think about this. So mostly, I think that we'll want to like put a blocker here, and we can lure them up through this place. I mean, I wouldn't mind another blocker here or something, but I guess that's just a no go for now. Uh, I suspect problems for the moment. Six squads. The squads were more of an issue. So we got that. We could put a pulse right here just for now and then sell it. We could always just sell it after. That works. It's the most coverage. It's probably the most coverage that we're going to get here. Works for me. We have 15 power. There's a generator down there that we could try and claim. All right. And here's the, all the AoEs. Then we have one, like, large man. Oh, that would... What? what the, that way was an absolute joke by comparison. Gain tw Wait. Gain 12 credits on every wave clear. This is like a relic choice. You received it makes it makes absolutely no sense for uh, this when there's only 5 waves. <laughs> like it makes none. Like should I take 50 now or get 12 every wave for 3 waves? Hmm, 36 bucks later or 50 now. Gee, that's a tough one. But I wanted to just get the tutorial. The repair, uh, repairer is part of the next wave. It, it heals those surrounding it when destroyed. Pay attention to various abilities of axons and adapt your uh, stuff accordingly. The sniper tower has been unlocked. Try it out. Be mindful as this has a minimum range. It cannot hit axons passing right under it. Can you add like a... Yeah, you can just add a tile in the middle of freaking nowhere. That seems super good for um, 
game with like a sniper tower situation. So we're luring him up there. This is still a lot, like if we put this here, it's still lots of coverage. But maybe we put it here and then we actually sell this and put it up there instead. trying to think how we could like the thing is we have so many options it's overwhelming it's in a good way but it is overwhelming let's see i can't get over here with three tiles i mean i could like i just put this here and then boom bang boom we have this but or a tower when activated slow all creeps within its range gotcha well, I do think that... I mean, maybe we could, like... Boop, 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 boop. We could block this off and then force them up through there. Yeah, that sort of works. Add that, because then we can put down... Oh, we don't have any blockers. I mean, I guess we could use the uh, the sniper, then. That, mo that covers, like, some pretty good ground. And we can, um, the thing is we can always put th new tiles in. We have 37 bucks now. Put two, like, new tiles in to, like, readjust paths when we maybe have blocked ourselves out. Um, for now, I don't know what I want to do with this other one tile, so I think I'm just going to say who cares for the time being. Oh, and actually an interesting thing. I'm not going to do it, but I could put one tile here and then they would actually change their path of least resistance to be here, which would mean I actually am in their radius more. That sounds kind of fun. I'm not going to do it because I don't think it will end up mattering. But that's that's like a cool line of thinking that no other tower defense game I feel like is has me uh, processing. But yeah, as long as the tutorial is, and I know how people sometimes are with things like that, I think you can agree that it's fairly necessary with the, you know, some of the mechanics going on at play here. Um, I'm going to want more money. Artillery tower has been unlocked. It fires one direction over large areas. Great for supplement when you need area damage. All directional towers can be rotated by pressing R. So, like... Oh, wait, it's in like a... It's in an arc. Does it fire a piercing shot? Slow, long range, and non-tracking projectile does impact damage and average over time and all in AoE. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it firing straight down a line, though, like that. Even though it's kind of more spread. Like, what's the other... God, that's so strange. What a strange AoE to have, have to deal with. It's kind of exciting at the same time, because cover some good ground oh that's pretty inch oh that's really interesting wait a minute what a strange spot for the tower but like it I just have to see it in action there uh this is all looping down there do I really even bother Not getting that good of coverage. We're going to need another... Um, let's see. If I put down this here, we could block off this spot and it wouldn't matter, right? Yeah, we could do that. And we could potentially put down the blast ray, which gets really good coverage then. I don't know, it's a bit weird. Oh. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Is there an... Uh, I think undo buttons would be really, really good for this as well. Like, because... That is not... <laughs> in my head, that worked way better than it does in practice here. Like, by a long shot. 
but there's nothing I can do about it. The good news is I don't think it'll matter. Okay, so when you upgrade, you actually do get to choose one of the three. Gotcha. Uh, ignores armor and shields. Let's see. Upgrade increases range and removes your minimum. Oh, well, hey. R you can remove the minimum range. I don't think I care about that right now. Slows targets for a short duration. No longer does dot. Instead does drastically increased impact damage. Sounds kind of fun. I also like the idea of just going for a slow. So are we in the range of the sniper? We're not in the range of the sniper doing that. that. Yeah, I'm gonna say let's just do impact damage. We'll increase that that way. We don't have much money left. We just got our extra ads that we could put in, uh, which are not that relevant at the moment. A different destination is fine too. Like, it's not gonna really make a difference too much, but putting it here for now is fine. Looks like it gives us more Eh, yes and no. I think it's I think it's irrelevant. And I don't think I need to sell anything at the moment. Though some of these things are a little bit suboptimal. We could hypercharge something. Okay, so those guys have... They have things in them. Wait. Oh, so it's it's an AoE mortar. It doesn't cover that entire space. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I could hypercharge this if I wanted. Yeah, we don't have the greatest of AoE here. But we're going to be fine regardless, I'm pretty sure. I don't even think I need to hypercharge. As, yeah, as rough as it kind of was there, it's not bad at all. We're fine. Uh, definitely going to take more money. You have a new pre-placed tower on the map. It's called, not a generator, but a slow tower aura. Axons within the range will be slowed, allowing towers to, yeah, more time to hit. You might want to expand here for the slash wave. We've unlocked the proximity mine for you to catch any leaks that might slip by. Consider putting one near the end. Limited charges per wave. Gotcha. To be fair, I think we're going to be fine regardless in this situation. Uh, but yeah, I I thought that it was going to just... I thought it was an AoE cut that blasted everything and it was going to do like a normal issue. It does a lot more damage than I thought, but it is... It's basically... It's a mortar. It's a standard mortar. AoE kind of long-range attack there. Uh, sniper. I think let's... Uh, let's we'll drop down the mine, I guess. I think it's fine if we just use that here. Hmm. How do I how do I fix the mistake I've made? Cuz we could like you could really swap things up here. Except like we could put this here and then uh they go up. They're coming up here. Clear them back down. That we'd have to. Nah, it, it, it'd be too much. The thing is, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Let's um. Let's go ahead and actually add in this stuff here. Is there really no better way to? I, I'm gonna have to use two tiles for it. They currently will have no desire to use it. Is there a? Increase range. Not that it matters. Axons explode on kill. Range and attack rate increase. Gotcha. Damage. Minimum range also removed. Priority change to front. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, that's super useful, but... Yeah, I think we're going to want to either use just a blocker, we don't, which we don't have. Or I think a sniper will be fine. There's good because we get the full we get the full loop de loop of, of this. Oh, that's actually really good. And they're gonna be slowed throughout here. So we could do something like um, 
I don't know. If there's, are there even going to be blast cannons left for us to worry about? Like anything that blast cannon can clear up that is even relevant? Because we could obviously do the full loop through here, but I don't think it's going to matter. I really, really, really don't. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it the way it is. Because we get all this coverage, and it's going to be slowed the entire time. This is going to be an absolute, like, death path right there. I could change the destination. I just don't... I don't, I don't need to. I don't think... Alright, we got some hefty single-target big boys. Some fast lads. But now they're entering the death spot over here. This should be pretty good. It's hard to see the slow really in action. Oh, man. Come on, sniper. Come on, sniper. Target the thing, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, we didn't even use any of this. All right, this is legit. This is extremely legit. Extremely happy that I went through all that as long as it was, because, like, genuinely, it was uh, quite free. Uh, you know? It was... I would have quit that a long time ago if it wasn't just, like, here's a tutorial, but honestly, kind of, just play the game for yourself, and we're going to give you a pop-up every, like five seconds or whatever 50 seconds pulse ray okay so this is the survival mode which is kind of like more like the roguelike mode apparently so we have three tiles that we can add already so this is not much of anything yet and it looks like i can absolutely add yeah i can i can add way out i can put it all the way up here if i really wanted to So, first things first, we could do, like, a little bit of... We could just do that. We have the extra blocks, should we desire it. Uh, which, I, you know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to do this. Fill in that gap. Which means we're not utilizing this, though, which is a bit stupid, but hey. Uh, pulse right going here covers a lot of ground. We're, we're not going to have a problem yet, right? Like, this is... We're not going to have a problem on this wave. But it, at least we shouldn't. But wasting four tiles right away is, is a little bit silly. We could certainly put down... I'm, gonna, I'm sure there's going to be some towers that we could put down that will utilize those spaces. Okay. Pick a reward. EMP Gatling, rapid fire EMP round low damage, but disable their abilities temporarily. Or the flame vent trap. Oh. That's tough. That's tough. That's really cool. I mean, I'll take uh, I'll take the EMP Gatling just because it's different. You know? I don't know if we have any kind of interest. What's the range? It's pretty good. It's a lot of coverage. I wish. Um, is there a way we could actually like? We could do this by putting this here and then putting like a blocker down, and we could have like the full, full loop that it runs through, which is about as good as it gets. Like the full horseshoe is the best that this blaster can get to. But it doesn't matter. We don't have any more money there. Blocker. technically a little bit better to put that here because that buys us an extra tile for the blast cannon and an extra tile for the EMP cannon and then I'll s I think I'm going to save the rest until I have a purpose for it right we don't have to spend it all right now oof I think we're fine I don't think any of them have abilities but I was under the impression... Does no damage. 
Okay, there's a there's a big difference between does no damage and low damage. There's a really big difference between none and low. <laughs> Uh, nuclear periodically emit a radioact a radioactive wave that deals low damage to all active hostiles within range. Lightning bolt that bounces between targets. Oh, I love the sound of that. I don't have an enough. An an enough. I'm gonna sell this. Get rid of it for now. See, there we go. Actually, a good, a pretty good tower for that location. We have 30. We could upgrade it, theoretically. Gains additional bounces. Attacks can bounce back to the same target. Mini stuns all axons. Damage reduced. So why can't I do it? I have, um... I have the materials needed. Right? I have 30, and it costs 25. All right, I do like this tower quite a bit. Gain expand charge. Oh, what the hell? What? Oh, you need to get the you need to get the upgrades. Gain a blocker instantly and a blocker every two waves. Ooh. EMP Gatling upgrade to the sniper. This gives us 24 power, but I don't have any use for the power. You've earned expand tile. Use this to extend an existing play area and get a bonus. You will earn one every four waves. What do you mean expand the grid? Oh. Gain 20 power if you expand here. One recycle if you expand here. To add 40 credits. I don't really need power right now. What is recycle? Because it's uh, recycle's not sell. I'm leaning towards the credits. It also is lined up in a way that I could, I could probably utilize fairly well. Okay. We might need to we might need to retool. We're almost definitely going to need to retool to uh have it be worthwhile. So I'm going to take that to have it be not bad, but we have the, the thing is the cell gives you and I love that the cell gives you a full refund in this. It it makes so much sense that it does. Okay. So we can send them up there. We can send them up there. We could even like, we could do the horseshoe thing, which I was talking about with the blast cannon. By blocking off that, if we loop it back through, which we can do. Okay. So, whether or not we'll be able to actually do that this turn is probably a no because we're going to need one more um, place down tile and then we can do something like that uh, but this I think this will be okay for the time being like I don't think we just killed the run to be clear um, this is not that optimal anymore I think I'm just going to maybe replace that with a blocker for the time being That's good. Yeah. We'll, we'll just put down temporary things. That's This is not even in a great, great spot anymore. Yeah, there's just so much that you can mess up super easily. We'll put down that bad boy. We have all the power, but literally nothing can be upgraded because we have to unlock the options to upgrade, which I actually like. I may have made my board worse before I make it better. But I have created, like, great potential. 
Oh, no. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. It, it, this is not... It's... Eh, dramatic. Lightning bolt that bounces between... Gain two lives, even if full, on a perfect wave. Ooh. Launch a sentry drone that patrols in an area, attacking any hostile creature that comes into range. Damage reduced, but damage multiplies an amount by each bounce. So basically, even better AoE. I, I just like the idea of getting a reason for it, using it, you know? We had, we had no use for our power yet. So we have add... All right, slowly but surely, we will adjust. We will adjust the board to be what we desire. We have 126. So we'd have to, yeah, we, 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 we still can't quite fix it, but it's a work in progress. We'll be able to set up the blast cannon here. Put that there, spread it out. We'll, we maybe will end up selling this even and then moving it somewhere else maybe even like up here to be clear or or here could be fine what's the radius on on this look like that's pretty good actually like all things considered still early on yeah i like that i like that i like that i like that a lot an interesting thing we could do is if we just built out two tiles right here we could we could make a little horseshoe right in the beginning to, like, fix the flub I made. That's kind of the fun thing, is you can always just fix the flub you make without that much concern, right? That's pretty good. And then I'll maybe want, like, a blast can here. Maybe. Maybe. 75 bucks. Gain increased movement speed. So I do wonder. Disable their ability. Just for science. This is for science. So it does not disable these guys' ability, the one who splits. But these guys aren't moving faster. when they normally are supposed to? Or are those the healers? It looks like uh, it was disabling the uh, ability of the healers. Reduce mine slash trap cost by three. Portable generator. Generate power at the end of every wave. His limited capacity burns out after several waves. Place an overcharged mine. Tower emits a stasis wave. Temporary stunning all axons in range. So this is an ability. These are active abilities that we can gain. Bonus damage if the attack only hits one target. Um, I kind of like the sound of that. I like the fact that we could get an additional. We have extra credit overcharge mine stasis wave. Sure. I like the idea of that. It gives us an active ability to play with as well. Uh, 51 bucks is all we have there. We could sell something, certainly. I think we could afford to sell this. I think it would be, I think it would be fine. I wish I had a blocker. Yeah, maybe, maybe we invest. We invest the touch. Or I'll do this. Just the blast cannon. It's not, like, incredible, but... It's fine. And then... I know I'll want to invest in that. I know I want to do that, and then we'll swap these up. We'll do another little little horseshoe down here. Okay. Got a finger in too many pies, though, I, I, I'd say. Another blocker. Artillery. Uh, at the end of every wave, receive a credit bonus equal to 10% of your unspent credits. Oh, interest. Up to, up to 30. So 300 is the maximum we could hold on to. 
It's a good call, though. Oh, you can re-roll. Oh, you can re-roll for uh, either power or money, though. That's actually pretty cool. I am going to go with this because I want the added blockers and stuff more than anything right now. All right. We got a couple cells. I don't have another blocker. So whatever I sell can't be crucial. <laughs> okay. I just I know I'm gonna wanna do that. We have another one cell I wish I could do. I'm afraid that I don't get my power back if I sell this. Ooh, these guys are terrifying. Which ones are those? Those are the spiders? Like, we got the full setup going back there that we're not too worried about. Gain expand charge. Artillery upgrade reduced all tower costs by four. I'll do it. Interesting, interesting. Gotcha. So, like, I could... The thing is, I think I could put this... No, it has to be on a flashing node. I kind of just did all that work to fix this thing up. Shoot. To add. I suppose this is fine. For one, two, three, four, add. Because then I could have them just loop back up afterwards. That's kind of okay. I don't love it, love it. Oh, boy. It's a fixer-upper, that's for sure. To the point where I'm like not even sure if I want to utilize it quite yet. I think I just have too much more that I genuinely sort of need to do. All right. For science, we're, we're probably nearing the end at, anyways at this point. Do I get any power back? I did. You actually do. It's super generous. I'm glad that it's generous. So, like, normally I know that, like, refund costs are a pretty big debate point for um, games like this, you know. But when you're changing your board so absurdly much I feel like you kind of need to be generous like that in my humble opinion it's it's so, it seems sort of necessary um I do wish you got a blocker back if you sold a blocker can't deny that all right we should be pretty good. It's cool, though. Like, you can look at how you can really tweak the board. It was just this. It was just this line. It wasn't even all these tiles. And we have really made something a lot nastier. I think that's a... I know there's, like, placeholder stuff. I don't know if that was it or not. Trap... Wait. Trap or mine kills a ward of power up to 15 per wave? Uh, dealing damage over time, ignoring armor or shield. This would maybe be like a reroll, if I'm going to be honest. Increase all adjacent towers range, arc reactor upgrade, 
Gain a recycled tile charge instantly. Let's do that to figure out. Oh, destroy a tile on the grid to gain add. Oh. So, like... I could definitely see situations where that's useful. If only. If only. Okay, I, I had the no. I had the no. But that's that's really cool. So, like, theoretically, you know, you could just do that. Gain an extra add. We have five. We could really... Loop them in here. One. Two. It, 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 like I said, it's a fixer-upper. I kind of wanted to utilize that, but... Then... I guess it doesn't really matter if I... Beef it a little bit here. I just regret what I did over here then. But that's fine. I regret lots of things, so it's fine. Something to that. Pulse Ray. There's, there's definitely worse spots for a Pulse Ray. It's kind of fun, though. This is kind of fun. And then I could easily, you know, like, add more tiles in to make this less of a just big dumb loop. The, the black, blo like, blocker tiles are really, really legit as well. Like, I think that they're... Uh, crucially important ingredient in this. Because otherwise you could just build a giant box over and over and over. Uh, once per wave, building any towers costing 100 credits or more grants an extra add tile. That's... All these passives are so cool. Gain bonus damage for every additional linked cannon built adjacent to it. Can only aim in a fixed direction. Huh. I'll admit it sounds sort of fun. So you would you could go like a beep 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 more or less. Okay. But, we, like, you know, we could just build a really long line and then have a million of these side by side. Oh, there's a big cap there. Still. That's kind of interesting. That's sort of fun. Like, the, the thinking about all the weird things you could do. All right. Where do I even have tiles that I can put things? I can put things here, technically. Whether or not I really care to is uh, a whole other thing. Interesting. Just just an artillery right at the beginning. You know, let's just do it for fun. Alright. Alright. So that guy seems to be spawning things. Yeah. Alright. What, what the hell has happened up here? Overload, EMP Blast. How many freaking towers are there? Once per wave, using an overload grants three lives. Nuke. Tower emits a shockwave dealing damage to all axons. What is this? This node will be filled at the end of... It will be filled by the end of next wave. Unless you put an add tile on it. I will say, I want to not... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll do one more wave just to see what that means, because I want to know if that means it's one of these tiles or if it's one of these. Like, for the, just for the curiosity's sake. Don't have very much money left, it's just for the sake of curiosity. We have any more, um... Uh, 
I mean, I'll be real. That, that upgrade doesn't really make sense here. It can't be targeted either. Who's got freaking abilities? Replicator? I'll wait for the Replicator. So that's been turned off. It's a cooldown. Oh, and it has a cooldown of like three seconds or something. Gotcha. Just out of, just, you know, because why not? Just I just wanted to see it in action here since we didn't utilize that. I love that we do have actives should we desire to use them. All right. So, okay, that's what I was wondering. Upgraded tower... Upgraded tower kills grant extra one credit up to 30 per wave. What the hell? Like, these are super cool. All right. Well, and then... So, yeah, it does fill up like that. So, that's really good to know. That's really good to know. So, that seems to start happening more and more and more. So, it's like, well, if you don't use that, it's gonna you're going to lose the option to build on it. This is so cool. This is probably one of the coolest tower defense games I've ever played, if not the coolest I've ever played. Um, this roguelike mode is ex extremely cool too. Like it's so diverse. I really enjoy it. I absolutely adore it. But alas, alas, that is that here. That's going to do it for today for Axon TD Uprising. Uh, quarter three, 2023, the game is coming out. There's apparently a demo coming out sometime soon here. This is an early pre, like a uh, pre demo release release. So it's like an early access, access, access kind of a situation. Um, and it's already incredible. Like it's super, super good. I don't know, man. They, they, they did it again. Alas, last thank you for watching. Check the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.